Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Roblox Obby. And in this tutorial, I'll be going over how to make different stages. And when each player gets to the next stage, they go onto that team. And I'll be showing you how to make three different obstacles. The first one is one where you jump over these. And the second one is where you have to find which one is the right block to go on because if you go on the wrong one you will fall through it but if you go into the right one then you will be able to walk through it correctly and then the last obstacle will be you, the one where you have to jump over these and if you touch one of them you die so let's get into this tutorial Today we're going to be showing you how to make your very own obby in Roblox Studio 2017. So what you're going to want to do first is make sure you have the Explorer in the Properties panel. If you don't have it, go into View and then press either one you don't have and it should appear on your screen. So what you're going to want to do next once you have that, you're going to want to also make sure you have the Teams folder. If you don't, go into Models. Go to this button, click it, and insert it from there. But since we already have it, we don't need to do that. Next, you're going to want to go into Workspace and then find the base plate. And you're going to want to delete it because we do not need it. Then you're going to insert a part. And you are going to anchor it because we don't want it to fall down into that endless pit down there. I mean, it's pretty much endless, so we don't want that because your players need to spawn there. It's the lobby. So what you're going to do, just make it big enough to make some spawns for at least four people. And then once you got it like that and anchored and all in whatever color you like, you're going to go in the model and you can make your first spawn. But I'm not going to be showing you how to make a spawn for each stage. I'm just going to be showing you how to make a spawn for the first one and telling you what to do if you'd want to make one for the next one instead of just making multiple spawns and taking up time in this tutorial. So basically what you want to do with this spawn, you want to go down to teams, check allow team change on touch, Uncheck neutral no matter which stage you're doing, just uncheck neutral. Change the team color. It'd probably be best to change it to the color it is so you can remember, but if you don't want to, then that's just fine. You just have to remember what this is. Next, you want to go down to the teams folder, insert object, and then a team. Then you want to rename the team stage and then whatever stage you're on. So for my case, it's stage one. You're going to go in the team color, change it to what you had it set for the spawn, which was really red, and there. So now if we test this out, we should spawn on stage one. So now I'm going to be showing you how to do each different obstacle. So in this tutorial, as you saw at the beginning, I'm going to be showing you how to make those three different ones. So let's get started. The first one is going to be basically one where you, the one where you jump over them to get to the next stage. So what you're going to want to do is insert a part. Oh, what? What's it doing over there? Okay, you're going to want to insert a part and you are going to want to anchor it also. You might want to make it into a shape like this and there. So now you're going to want to move it out he about here and then you can just duplicate it about maybe however much you want there to be. So if I wanted five I just make four more so one two three four then I'd move each one up so each one gets moved up and one more. Oops, didn't mean to move it up. 
like literally move it up. I meant forward. Okay. So there. Now we got all of them moved up. And basically they're going to float in the air if you anchor them. And you can jump across them. And if they fall into these gaps, they'll fall and have to restart. So, and that's basically how you do that. So now I'm going to delete this and show you how to make the next one. So the next one is basically where there's three or more, however many you want, um, little bricks going this way, and they're different colors. And you basically, one of them is the right one, and you just have to keep going to see which one is the right one. So if you walk across the wrong one, you will just fall right through it. But if you go across the right one, you can walk across it onto the next stage. So I'm going to be showing you how to make that. So what we're going to do, we're going to make shapes that look kind of like this. And we're going to make two more of them for now. And we are going to make each one a different color. So this one can be red. This one will make an orangish color, and this one will make yellow. So, let's say you wanted yellow to be the right one. So, basically, you also want to anchor them all so they don't fall. So, let's anchor them all. Okay, and basically, for the one you want to be right, you can just keep all the settings the same. We're going to move it up. The one you want to be wrong though, the ones you want to be wrong though, need to go down, find can collide, and uncheck it for those. So we're going to move it up also. And then we're going to do the same exact thing for this one and there. So now if I play, as you can see, um, red is wrong, you'll fall right through it and die and have to restart. So, and then, you, basically the same thing will happen for orange, or whatever one, other ones you would put to be wrong. But, as you can see, since we wanted the yellow one to be right, and kept, can collide, checked, we can walk on it, and we can walk on to the next stage. So, next I'm going to be showing you how to make another one, which is basically one where you have to jump over the little bricks and if you touch them you die so what you're going to want to do first is insert this part and you're going to want to make it kind of like this shape and you can make it look whatever i'm going to make it look red and cord or whatever this says metal because it looks deadly and it looks like you would actually die if you did touch it so, what you're going to do next, you're going to want to anchor it also so it doesn't fall over or anything. And what you're going to do is you're going to copy the script in the description. So, I will be back once I have that script inserted into here. Okay guys, so once you copy the script, you're going to insert a script into it. So let me find the script. Here it is. You're going to delete that and paste the script into it. Okay, there. So once you got that script in there, you are going to exit out of it. Okay, so now... Once you step on it, you will die, and you can just duplicate a few of them and make more of them that they have to jump over. So I'm going to do that right now. There. So now, as you can see, we can jump over them, and if we touch one accidentally, we will die. 
So that's basically it for this tutorial. And just so you know, if you make more of these spawns and put them after each stages, if you die on a stage but you're on that stage and it shows it up here, then you will respawn at the stage so you don't have to restart from the beginning. So that's it for now guys, and if the video helped you, then leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more Roblox videos. Bye!